Hey Westside, this is Pastor Ralph, and I have the privilege of being able to share a meditation with you today from Psalm 131. Today I'm going to read from, uh, actually a translation from a commentary, because I think they get this right. And um, so let me read this psalm for you. Song of the Ascents, David's. Yahweh, my heart has not been lofty. My eyes have not looked high. I have not gone about among great things, among wonders beyond me. No, rather, I have conformed and stilled my spirit. Like one nursed with its mother, so is my spirit nursed with me. Wait for Yahweh, Israel, from now and forevermore. This is a short prayer, one of the songs that they sang as they made their way up to Jerusalem to go and celebrate at the festivals. And it speaks of an attitude, not being overly ambitious, not trying to become great in the eyes of many, but instead to rest secure in who Yahweh says that I am. When I was 26, 27, just turned 27, I graduated from seminary. I had an M, well, I was going to be graduating with my MDiv. I was the youngest person in my class, and I was ready to go and conquer the world for Jesus. And I felt a very strong conviction from the Lord that said, just because you have an MDiv doesn't mean you're ready to be a pastor. You have more to learn. You need to slow down. It was hard, but I knew that faithfulness was not about my agenda, but Christ's call for my life. That's the wisdom of this psalm. It is easy to be caught up in a race of competition and ambition where we want to do more, be greater, do something great, be known. Instead, what this prayer of David shows us is the best way is to be content in the Lord's timing, to wait upon him, to not be driven by ambition and pride to be great, but just to accept God's call for our lives. This guards our hearts against pride and vanity, against egoism, and it calls us to a place of grace, allowing what God provides, what his call, what he gives, like a nursed child, satiated, content, if we want to live into this sort of life where we don't get caught up in the rat race, but we get caught up in God's call, one of the best things that we can do is pursue humility. The opposite of pride, egoism, vanity, ambition, not trying to make my name great, but instead just being concerned of positioning myself in a place to help pick other people up trusting in God's evaluation and God's reward. So today, this week, if you want to cultivate humility, if you want to learn the wisdom of Psalm 131, let me suggest that you seek to form a habit of service that's hidden, where you willingly bend your knee and you don't seek high and lofty things, but you just seek to do what the Lord puts before you today and to be content, not in how the outcomes are judged, but by being faithful. May the Lord bless you and keep you this day. May you wait for Yahweh from now on and forevermore. God bless.